Sean, how long have you been umpiring for? I've been umpiring since just before I turned 13. So how old are you now? I'm 17 now. So around four years? Yeah, something like that. And how long have you been doing it with Melbourne Netball? We... I think I started with time? Melbourne Netball in about 2008. 2008? Around that time, I'm not exactly sure. And why did you choose to become a netball umpire? Because I love the sport. Do you? Yeah. In comparison to which other sports did you play or do uh, play? I played cricket, I used to play football, basketball, I just started playing hockey and right. yeah. And netball ranks where? Top two. Really? Fantastic. So um, you've progressed through Melbourne netball into what you're doing tonight which is running the entire night, we, you know, which is quite a few people when we take a look at two different courts running. So your nightly job as a coordinator here, what does that uh, consist of doing? It consists of me taking all the game payments from the players and the receipts and all the likes and also managing if there's an injury or something, I have to look over that and get um, incident reports of the player and also just watching over the umpires and making sure everything runs smoothly. From memory, years ago when you were quite new on staff, I think you umpired one of your teachers, didn't you? Uh, yeah. How was that, young boy umpiring somebody that is authority to him during the day and we, then the roles are switching? He's actually my tutor at the moment. Is it? One of the subjects I'm doing 3-4 and we still laugh about it. Do you? Yeah. So what went through your mind when you saw your own peer on the court? When I saw him I actually went up and said, Sir, if you lose, please don't fail me. <laughs> Did you? Yeah. That's fantastic. And what does he think of you having a position like this? Um, he's quite impressed. I actually umpired a game for school between my school and my, our sister school and that was good fun. It's a little bit different atmosphere to these sorts of games. With yeah. All the, the students yelling at you. Well everyone here is over 18 too yeah. so you're still younger than the average age out on the court as well. So how has umpiring developed you as a young person? Um, I'm a lot more confident. Uh, what, else? what else about decision making? Has it affected you in that area? I'm or? a lot quicker with decision making and I can make an accurate decision a lot faster than most people. How do you discipline age. players and how do you feel about that? Um, I discipline them sternly. I, if they do what's wrong then they deserve the punishment which is either an advance penalty or off the court or reports or something like that. So would you say that you're not intimidated easily because of this kind of training? Or? Yes, definitely. So if you were to be uh, challenged outside of netball with inappropriate behaviour, what do you think your natural reaction would be? Uh, probably I wouldn't have any fear of calling the police or something like that and um, not taking incidents into my own hands but yep. running it by the law and doing the right thing. What would you say to somebody who's your age um, if they were considering going from being a player to a netball umpire and why? Make sure they're doing it for the right reason, not just the money, because you won't make it. It'll be boring and they won't enjoy it. Um, also just listen to your instructor and have confidence. How have you found the whole experience with Melbourne Netball? Great. They're always very supportive. I'm still young and they've been supportive of me becoming a coordinator and even when I was 14 or 15 when I started umpiring the um, mixed games, they were supportive of me then. Thanks a lot. No